getting the uh, first chance here tonight, November 20th, on 2020, to uh, try an eyepiece camera for my telescope, and I'm fairly impressed. I'm very impressed. Uh, definitely exceeds expectations. This is an SV205. Um, SV Bonnie, and uh, my telescope that I'm using here is um, a Celestron 114 GT, 114 millimeter aperture telescope. It's uh, I think the focus length, the focus uh, distance is right at about is it 900? millimeters. I have to look that up. But uh, yeah, very happy with this. So quick capture for a thousand frames. Use quick capture. Drop down to choose from different quick capture options. So this is uh, the first time I'm using sharp cap as well. So I've not, you know, uh, I've seen other people use it. I'll uh, watch some, you know, new YouTube videos and uh, also no disappointments with sharp cap. Uh, very, very nice piece of software. There's a sharp cap pro that I think I'm going to go ahead and, and upgrade to. This is just the free version, but uh, yeah. Um, so I know, I know you can see uh, atmospheric disturbance is, I believe, what you're seeing there with the little bit of jitter in the moon, how it's kind of shaking around. It's, it's just a little bit of atmospheric disturbance, which is, I think, normal. Ooh, way too much gain, right? Oh, back off on the gain. Oh, clear. Clear. Way too much gain. So we'll, we'll have to try maybe a gain of times one. Need no gain with the moon, I guess, right? It's bright enough without any gain. It's saying warning last. And there's a, it's counting up frames have not been stacked because it could not align. Maybe live stacking will have to do some more research to figure that out. Frame stack one. Total exposure. So there must be a way to exposure time. Here, let's stop. Uh, yeah. Have to figure out how to drop drop that exposure time down. We'll do some research on that. <clears throat> Extremely happy with that. <clears throat> See if I can go up a little bit on the scope.
So I have to, I have to actually shoot above the moon. And when I let go, yeah, it, it ends up coming out below, so I didn't go up far enough. Keep going here for a little bit. Still, well, that's better, right? It's going to make me go up again. Maybe that's far enough. So when I let go, it's going to come back on top of the moon. There it is. I want to go a little bit more up. There we go. That's what, what we're looking for. So we're seeing the edge of the shadow there between uh, where the sun is exposed. It's, you know, this part of the moon that's exposed by the sun and, and the shadow right along the edge there. See if I can improve the focus just a little bit. Yeah, wow. Oh, we're seeing a we're seeing a cloud cross. That's what it looks like when a cloud uh, cloud crosses the uh, in front of the moon. If you hear cattle mooing in the background, it's because we got a few cows that are just on the side of the other side of the fence here from my yard. And I, so they're enjoying the night sky out here with us too. Again, this is an SV205 from SV Bonnie and a Celestron 114 GT. I think I could watch watch the moon set like this. Oh, but we're we're getting some thick clouds. <laughs> so I no sooner say that and sure enough. Uh, the termination, right? That was uh, the uh, phrase I was looking for there, you know, in trying to describe the edge of uh, the border of, between where the moon is exposed to the sun and where it isn't shadow termination it's actually kind of a cool effect isn't it with the clouds as long as they don't get too thick but i think they will <laughs> Moonlight just cutting through the clouds here. You get some interesting colors when it's doing that. So first night using this SV Bonnie camera and uh, definitely going to use it again. Not disappointed at all. And thanks for watching. <laughs>